When he joins and is on Elder Journeys in general, he's always really funny. Like, he actually, I guess we can tangent into this a little bit, Puzzle Valley. I was kind of dry at playing Puzzle Valley-ish, because I just am not good with, like, the role-playing stuff. For I can act, I can do whatever, but, like, when it's role-playing in a game like that, I'm just like, uh, for no reason. But then I watched one or two episodes, and I heard Eddie, the way he would do shit, he'd be yeah. like, I cast a magical fist that just wraps around my hand, and I throw it out the window, and then I fly through the window down the street to where I have to go. And then when I get there, this happens. And I'm like, I was like, you can do that? Yeah. And I, I was like, yo, DJ, you could just do this? And he's like, well, yes and no. I, You know, you have to roll for initiative and the DM kind of decides. But yeah, you could pitch whatever you want. And I'm like, oh, bet. And the next episode was like, <laughs> it's a grenade bit. From my character's point of view, could I also add something in since I have a bag of tricks? Yes, yes, yes. What do you want to add? While the twins are getting away, I'm trying to help Kane, and then I quickly say, hold on, and I pull out two industrial grade, they look like bath bombs, but they're smoke bombs, and a lighter, and I fucking light one, and I whip it towards the parking lot as close as I can to where the twins are getting away at. I don't know where we're at positionally, but like just somewhere that way, and then I light one where we are, and I just like set it down. <laughs> So then there's two industrial grade smoke bombs going off, one near the parking lot just creating a smoke screen blocking the view from the train station to the parking lot, and then one just filling the train station with smoke. The grenade, which is yeah. really fucking good, by the way. And you won't say what episode it is or whatever, but you could tell, I guess, by seeing that when I learned how to play the game a little bit. <laughs> exactly. And a little bit more freely, I guess I should say. And I was excited for you because, like, you were very nervous about going forward yeah. with that. And I'll say this, and I don't mean to, like, cause any shame or anything because I have a lot of friends who aren't, like, super into D&D and don't, like, are scared to join because they don't know how it works and all this Yo, jazz. Oh, dude, I had no idea. Like, I knew what D&D was. But when you're like, yeah, you want to do a campaign with me or whatever, I'm like, yeah, dude, that sounds sick. <laughs> I needed you to be in that campaign. As the person that you are, as the uh, to me, like one of my good best friends, the whole point of Puzzle Valley is this whole like existential thought I had one day that every moment is destined to become not so long ago. Yeah. And I was just noticing that our friends were drifting apart more and more. I mean, right now, we're living an example of that. Yeah. Fucking when you see this, that moment passed, baby. <laughs> but that too, but I mean, like, the first paint was February 6th. The, the dates are on the back of this. It's February, February 6th, 2020. So, and now it's, we'll date it, December 16th, 2022. There's been a pandemic. <laughs> baby. <laughs> We've both moved a couple times. Mm. A lot of shit has happened. Uh-huh. Some for good, some for whole hot help. So much. So much for bad. But also so much for good. Like, I've met a lot of people. I've stepped... Uh, out of my comfort zone in a lot of different things and I'm just not in, a, in the line has been stuck in my head from Bloodhound Gang from their uh, not last album but their most recent album which is almost 10 years old now already too there's a line in that album where it says you need to not give a shit a little more yeah. <laughs> tomorrow's not here and yesterday's gone it's half past fucking with the caps lock on that's funny <laughs> so it's just stuck in my head you need to not give a shit a little more and i'm like you right it doesn't mean like i'm gonna drive my car drunk at 80 miles per hour fuck you if you do that you know just be like oh should i do this should i should i make this green should i make this orange what are they gonna think do what you think do what you want. Exactly. That's why the cassette. Do you. That's why the cassette voice filter is going on right now. Still. Yeah. That's why it just came back on for this sentence. Here. Oh. <laughs> you see how I did over that? I'm sorry. I. Oh, I, I thought you were just doing the color, and then you were just gonna like hard outline. You it don't know me. Don't look at my draw. <laughs> you know, I didn't look at yours. Uh oh. <laughs> when you were like, uh, since we're kind of showing each other, like, <gasps> you've been looking. <laughs> I'm not trying to. I'm just looking at my paper and everything else and out the window because it's open. No worries. No worries. No whammies. No whammies. Uh, don't worry. I'm, I'm, I'm not done anyway. It's cool. Water. You're a cool baby. Uh, <laughs> the stack of Mr. Beast. <laughs> well, I mean, I, mean oh, I put tap water in Man, this. Nate, there's a VHS filter. On. Like, this Nate, look away. It's okay. But it looks no, so cool. I'm looking it's at so you. Crisp. I'm looking at you, Nate. Editing right that. You know right now. Right. Don't worry about this, Nate. I will give you a middle. This one is nothing. When it cuts to this one, it's VHS and cassette. Because <laughs> it's going to be arguably shittier <laughs> anyway. In my, in, off a rip, I think so. Because that's genuine 4K, and then that one's 4K. You know, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay. Look at, that's, that's, a, that's, that's, a, that's a good, right. that's a good editing that's style. Yeah. It's good. Because, I mean, when it pans back to it, it adds a little tone to it. it won't, yeah, I won't make fun. it. I won't make it, like, jarringly cut. Just you make know? it nice. But like, like, yeah, like a, it's a vibe. Like is a what nice I'm warm after. sort of. Yeah, I'm, I'm after the thing. vibe. That's what Same. I like. The Good. whole time we were setting up lights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's a vibe. But I'm like, 
Yes, <laughs> I agree. I don't disagree with that talk. It was just funny. I'm like, yeah, that's. I like that. <laughs> so, that I mean, ever since we did season of the cursed and we did the uh, what's under the bed, and that's yeah. my favorite scene, dude. Because whole- it is a vibe. that one dude I, your room is a vibe like that like nate's very good at decorating it's... and like having a vibe <laughs> we talked about my editing my decorating style earlier as you guys can see from maybe that shot but this one for sure i hang up one or two things and i see how much stuff i can put on those things until they reach each other and then put more stuff on that with only like two things securing it so those icp unicorns that were from goodwill it was sharpie uh <laughs> those are holding up everything you see above uh except for like the other paintings and like this one is actually two screens which has a bunch of my split photography work on it which i just never have it on it's got sesh blocks on it and some other shit and then it's got the young world punk and non-stop collaboration mask on it there's just a bunch of shit that's a rug <laughs> <laughs> That's a rug. That's a fucking rug, dude. I was on the floor. Sissy loved that rug for like a week. She's like, because she's like, he got this for me. <laughs> My cat. She's notorious for just vomiting on things I love on the floor. So I hung like it up. Me. I was so hungry. I was so hungry, John. So in the terms of paint, you are, it's not a contest, but it just is for the bit. In the terms of paint, you're winning. I have put zero drops of paint and more on my arm than on there because I was showing him a little bit more about how to do watercolor before we started and I had to do it on my arm because I didn't want to do it anywhere else. But the point, that's also wearing black pants, watercolor, never see it. Not like it doesn't wash out. We went off a little bit, y'all. I mean, but I was, but, I'm, you're right, but at the same time, like, fuck it. I'm not done that's that. You need to not give a shit a little more. Yes. Because like, because I'm like, oh, we're not on the vibe. topic. We're not on the topic. And that's it's like, why it's a vibe right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But talking about our own music, I think is a pretty good loop. At least if you I just real, else real quick, I just wanted to say. Yeah, that, that's what that's what made me go off. Was that I was, that was cool. yeah, I play coy with Tim whenever I'm talking to him. But it really means a great deal every time he oh, talks yeah, to I me about to, my content. Yeah, I didn't try to downplay it to him at all either. I was yeah. just like, I was like real. I'm like, okay, I don't know how to respond to this, but like, I just want to like, this genuinely really fucking cool. Like one that you watch, and two that like just you have that like you know like. How, example, like I watch Ludwig and I like know all his inside jokes and stuff like that. And I have this like thing that I do when I go to watch it, you know, like it's a certain thing to do at night and everything. And you just have that connection with that person, though they don't know you, even though this clip exists. <laughs> so thank you very much. Punkin nonstop. That's like punk, like punk, punking, like punking. I'm punking you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's okay. It's okay. I'm big, big baller. Two dollars. Ludwig said my name. <laughs> It's okay. Just like that sort of relationship, not that it's that same dynamic, but for him to have that sort of idea of like watching me, but never meeting or talking to me and like sort of feeling like he knows me. Like, yeah. that, that's cool, man. That's, I love that. That's the shit I love. That's what I want to do this stuff for, to make people feel something other than nothing. Can I have a Sharpie? <laughs> did you want to use it? I can just grab another one. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that was a good Steve-O you impression you just, just did. <laughs> okay. But I just, I didn't want to, uh, I just want to, uh, it means the world to me every time Tim reaches out and tells me that he listened to Puzzle Valley especially because Puzzle Valley means so fucking much to me. As Nate would probably tell you, it is the... It's one of those things that kept me going. It, I, it, it was my therapy for a lot of it, like coming up with these characters, talking about the theme of like all my existential dread. Uh, Nate was definitely a part of that and helped me through it. He may not understand what I meant by a lot of the stuff in the, <laughs> in, the in the show, but uh, it... It means a whole lot to me, and Tim mentioning that he listens, likes it a lot, and then talks to me about it, I it, it means the world to me. I just can't talk about my own stuff without feeling like a narcissist, so... so yes, but then if, like, they're actually interested, then I don't, then I don't think like that. Because, like, I'm like, I don't want to talk about myself too much, you know, you have your own life, you have your own aspirations and shit, like, I, like 
tell me to shut the fuck up, you know? <laughs> if they're actually like, hey, dude, what are you doing with the channel? Like, how do you do this? You know, this is really cool or whatever. Like, of course I'm going to talk about it. Like, why not? But I just, I can't ever tell. I can never tell if he, <laughs> if people are actually interested or if they're just being nice. Yeah. Because it's the first time in years where I'm actually, like, proud of my own content, which is before I'm like, please don't fucking go watch my McDonald's review of, of the McDonald's movie you for shit. Thanksgiving. Wait, wait, wait. You, you're not talking about, like, the McDonald's VHS series, right? Y- yeah. Yeah, we talked about that the other day, dude. That fucking video was awesome. <sighs> what? Mm. Hello? Morning, sunshine. What do you want this time? Just to talk. Only this time I can't for long. <laughs> what, you got Psychos Anonymous? What? You got YouTube Hacks Anonymous? That's you. That's what you sound like. I'm like, I don't want someone who doesn't know me to watch that. Like, Did I go- grab a brown Sharpie in the dark out there? I love that. Fuck yeah. Well, I can use it for that. So but, like, that's what I'm talking about. Some of my shit is cringy. Like, don't go listen to Soulwood. Don't listen to Handsome Dwellers. Listen that's- to Coral Castle and then loop back if you like it that much. Or if you want, you can start at Puzzle Valley. Puzzle Valley is very good. <laughs> but at the same there. time, <laughs> I started Puzzle Valley right after Soulwood. So you literally see the evolution of my audio quality over the course of three years. Yeah, and like the the finale, baby, is so fucking epic. And I use that word specifically because that was you know to to get off of Puzzle Valley and back onto music. <laughs> it, please listen to Puzzle Valley, though. It means the fucking world. Like me and Nate cried during it. Like yeah. it's. I mean, we have it on our skin. If that like says oh, anything, also. like before it even came out at all, we got these last November. Yeah, and it came out what three months ago? Uh, it started airing. Yes, like, three months ago. Yes, it started airing like. Was it on your birthday it started airing? Yeah, actually. Okay. Because yeah. I wanted Doorman to be out. In- and you're like, fuck it. <laughs> I Puzzle said, Puzzle Valley is coming. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of Puzzle Valley and ending on that, moving on to the next part.